my blog is ready okay but how now the question is if i publish this but i still how do i find that blog like how do i go to a particular blog post so this blog page this page that will land me to one of the blog posts is still missing so let's create that same thing we had already created something called blog and this is the parent page where i will contain all the blog posts uh, i did this tiny thing here uh, when we created the cms remember i chose a name such that the url path is website.com slash blog slash whatever is the name of the post the slug of the post uh, so when somebody lands on somebody lands on slash blog slash slug they land on a post and I want to make sure that when somebody lands on just blog, they land on this page. So all I have to do is make sure when I create a new page here in the settings wheel, I make sure the URL is the same. So it's website.com slash blog. So this way it's in the same path. Uh, we'll come to these later. But yeah, let's go to the blog page. You already have the nav bar. We're going to repeat the same things that we did in the previous one, section, container, div, and Here's where it gets interesting. Earlier, we were connecting a, a CMS page, this blog page, to CMS collection items so that every time you create a new blog, it'll basically replicate this layout and create a new page. Now, this is the page I'm creating is a static page, but I still wanted to show the list of blogs. And every time I create a new blog, it should show up here, right? I don't want to manually put stuff here. So you do that by creating something. Uh, by fetching a CMS collection inside a static page. Uh, words, again, I'll show you how that happens. So I want to fetch a CMS collection, but the prerequisite is I need some data first. So let's put that data in first. All right, so text link, heading, text block, link block. What's the easiest? Okay. Let's use text link, which is basically text, but with a hyperlink. Okay, this should do the trick for us. So now we have an element called text link. I'm gonna apply the same styles we applied earlier by selecting div block to styles got applied. I want a header here, a heading, uh, which I'll move up and I'll say all blog posts. And I definitely want some space between this heading and this text link. So I'm just gonna add another div, just a container, just a box. Mo I'm, I'll move the heading inside the div here. And I'll just add space below the div. Not enough, not enough, good enough. All right, so now here's the link. Now I want to, I'm gonna create, add a new element, this is, uh, this is uh, it'll scroll down a little bit and you find something called, actually, where is it? Ha, huh, there you go. CMS collection list, select it. You have something called a collection list wrapper and it's asking you, which collection are you referring to? We only have one blog, so let's click on it. And as you can see, it's already showing me a preview of the different items in the blog. There are five blog posts showing me a preview of what's to come. If I, if I set this up correctly, uh, so now, in order to see these, I need to put elements inside it. These are empty blocks. So I need to put something where I can populate the title or description or whatever else. So this earlier link block I took, I'm going to go and put it, drag it inside here. So there were five blog posts, there are five text links. The reason it still says text link is I have not said what should be the text here uh, with reference to the blog. So let's try that. I'll click on uh, the settings icon it says get text from blog and I'll give it the name field and it says get URL this is the link uh, text remember so I'm going to ask it to get URL from blog oh, but it's URL is not really a field it's just simply the page that this is referring to this the blog post so there's another uh, whenever you see this color it means something related to CMS so go here and it says current blog so what this means is Whatever link I'm, whatever link this is, uh, whichever blog post it is referring to, if I click on it, it'll just take me to that blog post. That's all. Uh, so just set it to current blog, and there you go. 
we have all the elements don't they don't look so good so i'm gonna put blog post link as a style name i'm gonna i'm gonna put some inline elements can't have styles okay that didn't work so i'm gonna put a div block here i'm gonna put the blog post within the div and inside the div i'm gonna add same thing container 16 is too much 8px 12px cool i've added some spacing but i don't like the look of this so i'm gonna change it i'm gonna remove the maybe keep the underline what is this color? One on one. Let's use the same color. Yep. And when you hover over it, mm, this is an interesting thing that I didn't show you. Uh, since this is a link, and in links you can hover over them, I haven't actually styled these here. Uh, you know, in a, in an element when you hover over something like this went underline, uh, or this had a slight. Uh, the button slightly got highlighted when you hovered over it. You can set those styles here too. So this is a link. And if I click on this drop down, I can look at what all other styles I can apply. So let's see hover. And let's give it the same color as this. This is six, seven, seven. And I'll go back here, click on hover, give it this style. There you go. Let's preview it. That didn't work as I expected it to. Oh, it did. Okay, it did. So now when I hover, it looks like this. In fact, the styling looks so good. I want to apply it here also. So I'm just going to select this. Say on hover, put this color. Go back to none. All right. Awesome. Uh, we don't have these other two links right now. So for the time being, I'm just going to delete them. Okay, and this page, this link is this blog link is supposed to link to this current page that I'm at. So I'm going to select the settings wheel, and it asks me what kind of link is this. I'm going to say it's it's linked to a page inside this website. The page is the blog page. Webflow will automatically show you all the static pages, so that you can just select one of them instead of pasting the URL itself. Uh, and that's it. It's done. So now if I were to there's no link here. If I were to click this, it would take me to the blog. And I also want a link here. If I were to click this, take me to the home page. So again, instead of external URL, I'm just going to select an, a page. I'm going to select home. Now, if I click here, home. If I click here, blog, navigation. And if I click here, blog post, the whole thing just came together. Go back to blog, go back to home. All right.